Hey guys, and welcome back to Internet Exploration where I don't know what the hell I'm doing this week. I have this weird thing where I occasionally do like kids shit. This will be like the fourth one I've done. If you've been keeping score on the channel, I played, I think the first video I ever, I ever did for in this instance, I played kids games, but mostly got distracted watching like kids videos and shit. And then after that I did I believe YouTube kids and then I did that video on disturbing kids games as well which had a lot of really fucked up kids uh, games. I still have a uh, decent amount of bookmarks for a second video that I never intended to. <laughs> It'll probably come out eventually. I'll probably torture myself and do it. But this week, we're going to be talking about Kittle. I had no idea this existed until I just so happened to come up with the idea of searching kids search engines to see if there were any, like, kids-related search engines. And just out of curiosity, if you wonder why I do these type of shits like um, YouTube kids and whatnot, it's because this, this stuff particularly fascinates me because this is, um, it's kind of new territory. When I was younger, the internet was kind of like the wild, wild west almost in the sense that there wasn't a lot of tools for parents to use to kind of regulate what their kids do on the internet and subsequently kids would kind of run wild and just do whatever the fuck they still kind of do but nowadays there exists t certain tools that kind of almost try and limit that and this is one that them so this is kittle uh, self-described as a safe visual search engine for kids so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to learn a bit about what the hell this website is do some research into it and then we're going to probably end up getting distracted and just going to random fucking websites that it pulls up but we're also going to stress test the website to see how well it actually does in filtering out you know inappropriate content for kids we're going to start out with some pretty low balls but as we move on we're going to try like specific keywords like something like gta say like we'll filter out grant like everything grant the thought related like when you get specific what well, skill appropriately appropriately i should say to like that specific word but, or does it like filter out general shit without d further ado we're going to kind of dig into this about kittle kittle how is Kittle designed specifically for kids? Number one, safe search. Sites appearing on Kittle search results satisfy family-friendly requirements as we filter sites with explicit or deceptive content. Please read more on kids safe search on Kittle here. We will read on that later. Kids oriented results. The boxes below illustrate how Kittle returns results for each query in the order shown. Safe sites and pages written specifically for kids handpicked and checked by Kittle editors typically results one to three. Safe trusted sites that are not written specifically for kids but have content written in a simple way easy for kids to understand hand-picked and checked by kill editors safe famous sites that are written for adults provide Providing expert content are hard for kids to understand. Filtered by Google Safe Search. Typically results eight onwards. I'm not sure what, exactly what these mean. So three, big thumbnails. Most Kittle search results are illustrated with big thumbnails, which makes it easier to scan the results, differentiate between them, and click the most appropriate results to your query. Thumbnails serve as visual clues and are especially beneficial to kids as they don't read as fast as adults. Large aerial font and Kittle search results provides better readability for for kids almost sounds like something you do for old people like large fonts privacy we don't collect any personal identifiable identifiable information and our logs are deleted every 24 hours please read our full privacy statement we will not do that because i don't care why does kittle use a dot co instead of dot com domain in kittle's case dot co stands for children only our focus and vision for kittle kittle is powered by google safe search but is not affiliated with google internet safety tips for parents and educators these days we need to be parents and educators in the online world as well as the real world the internet is a great educational and recreational resource that can help children learn and satisfy their curiosity about life. The websites included in Kittle Safe Search are recommended by educators, librarians, and parents from across the globe as well as websites our own editors have used in schools or for homework within the K-12 age range. However, it's also important to talk to your children about how to use the internet safely. So essentially this is kind of like a, we're not going to read all, all over because this is kind of, it's just to essentially teach online safety like respect yourself, personal is personal, where they can go, you know, stay involved, monitor what your kids do online, you know, 
know, typical shit that you parents should be doing. Like, you know, your kid shouldn't be like at five years old running off to Pornhub because you just don't give a shit enough to watch them. You know, you should be keeping an eye on what, or at least be monitoring what they're doing on the internet, obviously. Because these are different times. When I was younger, I, I would say the internet was not as malicious as it is now. It still was, but it wasn't as bad as, like, there wasn't as much bad content, I would say. Like, sure, you could find, like, stupid shit on YouTube. Like, you used to watch, like, not very appropriate shit on YouTube. Nowadays, it's like, there's a lot more on the internet. There's just, I should say, the volume of what is on the internet is a lot higher nowadays than it was back there, back in the day. But moving on, kids say search. Kittle is a kid safe visual search engine the boxes below illustrate how kittle returns results for each query we've already read it over that since kittle results are either handpicked and checked by our editors or filtered by google safe search you know you get kid oriented results without any explicit content in case some bad words are present in a search query our guard robot will block the search if you wish to request additional keyword blocking please use our keyword blocking form if you wish to request additional site blocking please use your site blocking form so now we're going to actually move on to using the search engine itself and seeing what type of shit we can get so first off we're going to start with a easy lowball nigga this one it should just block it right again like oops try again yep because see it, it got it gets you right off the bat like it like it's not gonna let you search that so let's see it's not gonna let me search that it's probably not gonna let me search shit yeah see bitch um now if i put spaces in between it well oh shit it actually gets you on that too i was actually not sure if i was gonna do that it's actually pretty good but it's good to see if they're thinking ahead the curse let's go nibba let's see if it blocks that it does not it does not block it but it also pulls wow it doesn't really pull up anything bad it just pulls up microorganisms about st patrick Bruce police and how they differ memes find your answers and they have ads they have some ads that lead out i'm not sure where they go but in, in terms of images um nothing really offensive i mean at all honestly videos we get no results so since it actually says memes we'll look up memes and see what we can get we probably won't get anything offensive i'd imagine if it's doing a good job internet meme facts for kids so it has a whole write-up on like meme facts that's kind of interesting i guess so do any of these what i'm curious is do no none of them are gonna i don't think any of them will actually out are, there's nothing on here uh outlink wow they actually have a page on propaganda this is uh this seems yeah kpedia so this is actually um i'm gonna guess written by them oh shit they have politics on here i'm not sure why they have a write-up on propaganda and they have like anti-communist shit like okay i'm not sure if they should be really putting this up for kids that's kind of like suspicious it's more interesting because it's a write-up by them and not someone outside which was what i was expecting to get this type of shit with but it's like this is talking about like politics and shit for like kids right it's kind of weird politics facts for kids should we really be telling kids about this type of shit i mean i'm just saying that's all i'm saying not getting a lot on memes we got iowa pictures and facts by national geographic <laughs> images we do have some memes uh no good ones really like these are like out fucking data like this is like this is like lol cats and lol cats is, was like 14 years ago like 15 years ago dude you got memes you got a pepe frog you got tic tac yeah, you got fans birthdays the death of martin luther king jr assassination <laughs> are you sure are you sure you should be putting this on another thing about this is okay that's right on the dot i was not sure if i was going to do that it will outlink you to other websites once that happens you're outside the like i thought it might try to contain it to like where you stay in the kiddo environment but as you can see i just clicked right off and now i'm on history.com so i just currently left um i left the regulation of kittle and now i'm kind of if i were a kid i'm on my own free will to kind of run around and do whatever the fuck i want not sure why i'm on a like on a kid's web browser i'm able to get access to like the death of martin luther king jr you know like martin luther king jr assassination i'm not sure if that's something kids should be reading into but i digress alt right facts for 
kids? What the fuck? I'm starting to get kind of suspicious of this website. Like, here we go. How GameStop and other meme stocks became the centerpiece of a... How GameStop and other meme stocks became the centerpiece of a stock market frenzy? Like, how... I don't think kids will understand the stock market. I guess that's interesting. It's like, here's one that says, like, it's like stocks for kids and beginners. We're, we're actually gonna read fucking into that. Like, what the fuck is that? And I mean, you have, like, a timeline of World War One battles, pandemics that change history. Like, this isn't meant to be a, like, a searching for kids, right? Like, this, like, World War One and shit? I'm not sure. I'm sorry, but that just sounds sus. Like, here we go. Like, Pepe the Frog Facts for kids. Like, I'm confused as to how this does not seem to be doing wholeheartedly its job. But now I'm curious if I, like, if I search up, like, World War, will I get, like, what, can I get bodies? Like, if I search Vietnam, will I get bodies? Like, here on... Alt-right facts for kids. The alt-right is a right-wing political movement originating in the United States. Should we be telling kids about this? Should we really be dragging kids into, like, politics? Like, is this something we need to do? Let's just be honest. Keep kids out of politics, please. I'm sorry if it seems, like, offensive or whatever, or, like... It seems like a hard stance, but it's like, no, don't do that type of shit. Like, let's keep our kids, like, when I was a kid, it was just, like, sunshine and rainbows and shit. We play outside or, like, fucking play Mario Sunshine. It wasn't like we, sh we shouldn't be teaching our kids about politics. Let that shit rest for a bit. So here we have a video, Stocks for Kids and Beginners. We're fucking watching this video, by the way. I want to know what the fuck is going on. Super Cooper and Wall Street Willie. Here we go. What are stocks? I don't know. I'm a stupid fucking five-year-old kid. Tell me what a stock is, please. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be voiced by kids. What is a stock? Alright, this is... This is kind of a fucking headache. Alright, yeah, I'm sorry. That's, that's kind of a headache, though. Like, listen to this kid scream his head off about how... I'm out of stock. And not get a part of the company and whatever. I mean, it's kind of interesting how they're trying to teach kids about stocks, but at the same time, why do we need to teach kids about stocks? So, uh, we have a comment section. <laughs> Game Stonk. Like, are these kids? Who loves Among Us? I'll be going to get games soon because I'm getting a, a Xbox on my birthday. I love GameStop. This is good because it causes a lower for wealth and equity line, equality line to kids. I don't think these are all kids, to be honest. This is not good. Five exclamation marks. No, it is good. Makes the wealthy lose. It makes an equality line re really good for economy unless you're wealthy. Who here plays and <laughs> loves Minecraft? My favorite game. That's still Store has a lot of games. I love GameStop. Such a cool store to shop at. Who here still plays Fortnite besides me? <laughs> oh my god, these comments are fucking gold. I think they're written by kids. I love how some of these is like, I love Madden 21. This one's like, I despise the organizers of this. If this is game targeting the people who know very little about the stock market, telling them not to sell their stock despite the fact that it's like, what the fuck? You have like kids like talking about like playing Fortnite and shit, and this guy's like going off like off the deep end, and it's like, what dude? Chill out. I believe this is meant to be like a news site for kids, maybe? But yeah, kids news news articles like that's definitely not something that ever existed back in like my fucking time like when i was younger it was just that that was not a thing so that's kind of interesting that they that's just fucking interesting to me i don't even know no comment so going back to the whole world war shit that I was talking about like are we gonna see bodies is what i'm curious of like i think this is kind of like beyond it i'm not sure if we should be showing kids pictures of world war and, i mean here you got a picture of you know the dude adolf hitler that really should kids like under the age of 10 be learning like that early on who Adolf Hitler was. Let him breathe for a little bit, you know what I mean? So I'm not seeing any horrific pictures, like, I mean, horrific as in, like, gory and shit like that. I imagine if I looked for long enough, you could probably find one. I'm not sure if... I think it's just the animal getting hoisted up and not hung. I imagine if I kept looking for long enough, I could probably find one. Like, I'm pretty sure if I looked at Vietnam, we might be able to get a hit. That would be, like, what I'm thinking of. Because Vietnam was probably one of the worst detailed, um, wars. Like, the one where they had probably, in my knowledge, the goriest pictures. 
from what I can remember. So, I mean, we're not getting anything too bad. I mean, you got the classic picture of the uh, Vietnamese man with his SKS, but I mean, that's about it. I can't really find anything that's like horrific. Like we just looped back into World War One. I. I don't know if we go, if we can go far back enough. Like you see, it's like, it's not bad in relative terms. There were some pretty fucking horrific pictures of Vietnam and they're not showing them. So I can give them credit for that. It's a bit weird that you can search Vietnam War in the first place. It would be a question of like, what age groups are we specifically targeting in this kind of group because if it's like kids under 10 then let's not tell them about the vietnam war man keep them out of it but now we're going to do some rudimentary website searches because like i was saying before you can kind of like with the history website we kind of we searched we clicked on it and then we were out of the domain of kittle we weren't restricted so we search up google kittle comes up and PBS Kids comes up, Khan Academy, so they, they've actually blocked Google, which is fucking hilarious. I'm not sure if they'll block YouTube, too. Oops, try again. They actually blocked YouTube. That's kind of wild. eBay, they blocked eBay, too. They're actually, which I'm kind of surprised they're doing, they're actually blocking pretty popular websites that you can't, you can't, like, escape that the domain of Kittle. You can't escape it, but you can't escape it as easily as you think, so we're gonna search some low key terms like 69 will anything pop up interstate 69 it did a good job congratulations you blocked out what i was intending to see if we search up 69 like the rapper will we get anything we do interesting we get famous birthdays um i think that's all famous birthdays yeah, it looks like it. Only results from famous birthdays, it looks like. You get a Kittle write-up. You get black facts. I'm not sure where this will link us to. How far will this get us out? And will it get us to anything bad is what I'm curious of. Because now we've linked out at least a little bit. So if we search rap, I wonder what would pop up. Hip-hop facts for kids. Gangsta rap facts for kids, which is interesting how <laughs> fucking gangster rap. I had to see it. Never mind. I have to see what the fucking facts are for gangster rap for kids. Gangster rap is a sub-genre of hip-hop that reflects the violent lifestyles of some inner city youth. Gangster is a non rhotic pronunciation of the word gangster. The gangster... The genre was pioneered in the mid-1980s by rappers such as Afro Man and Ice Cube, and was popularized in the later part of the 1980s by groups like N.W.A. And kids would be like, oh, what does that stand for? It stands for, uh, niggas with attitude. <laughs> well, okay, let's see what we get under videos if we search rap. Okay, it uses school tube, so I'm guessing we really cannot. Yeah, it blocks out YouTube completely, so they have ads, and that's interesting. You're advertising to kids, but I digress. They do not link out to YouTube, which is interesting. I thought they might. They don't, though. They link to school tube, which is, I know what that is, only because it was, like, relatively popular when I was in high school amongst teachers. Dirk addresses Laugh Now, Cry Later, allegedly called Takashi 69 a rat. We've linked out to Black facts and now we linked that to another website called we linked that to a site called cassius life which we came from this website called black facts i don't know what this website is it links out to like how now you've linked that to the grio i don't know what that is we have effectively escaped pretty well the environment of kittle and i don't know how far we could we get to the video from here then we have a screenshot and we have the song so is it the full song? Is it the uncensored version? A uh, video unavailable. So that that was only saved by the fact that they made the the, the linking that six nine made the f linking of the video off website. They made it not possible. So that kid was just saved by the fact that they didn't make it. So we came from here. We clicked on here. That linked to this one, website. Black facts. We clicked on that. We linked to here. And now that kid's out of the environment of a uh, kiddle. And uh, you, look at this, Some somebody usher this nigga to the clinic. That kid just read like nigga, like it's got like words that he shouldn't be reading, like that we got here from Kittle. We exited the environment, I mean we can listen to Roddy Rich the box, and yep, we link right off to YouTube. Welcome and as you can see, you can we escaped onto YouTube, which was one of the um, goals of this site was to prevent you from getting there. It would link only to school too, but we have escaped to YouTube via this website following this link. That's not completely completely unavoidable obviously you can the kid's gonna be able to and if the kid's even one bit smart he'll be able to just type in youtube anyways but if you're trying to keep your kid in this environment well we just linked off linked off and then we went to youtube kid wasn't completely protected i suppose we're gonna search up i don't know oreo we'll come up for oreos i don't even know we got what the fuck is that <laughs> one of the things about this is yeah you can keep your kid on this website but i mean it's like oh 
fuck. They're gonna make me center shit because he adds Instacart. I can click on Instacart, go to Instacart, and it's like, look, I escaped. I made it out. I get that they had to run ads to make money, but that's also a really good way just to escape and run away and whatnot. And like, you know, not stay safe in that environment. Like what they're trying to do, like keep you safe in the environment of Kittle. So XXX Tentacion. They have Rich Brian, which is fucking hilarious. So they blacked a lot of shit out for that. And pretty much only have famous birthdays. You got trippy red. I don't know how far we could get out with uh, famous birthdays. Doesn't look like famous birthdays really links out that far. So you're safe as far as I know in there. So if we search something like ice, <laughs> you get the deity. Okay, that was not what I was expecting. Like Osiris, Isis Temple. Oh, here we go. U.S. history, Iraq war for kids. <laughs> Oh my god, what the hell, dude? This is freaking ridiculous. And then we have a history video on here's what ISIS believes and how it came to be. Not exactly something kids should be watching. Now, one thing I, I must admit that this um this engine is doing pretty good is it, it is blocking out corporate websites pretty well. So when I search up something like Oreo and I know like I scroll down, like it's it's not bringing up like the Oreo website. Like I actually can't get access to like the corporate Oreo website or like their official website so it's actually doing some because i didn't notice that initially but it's doing a good job of like walking you out to like anything that could give you pur purchasing power except it doesn't because like i said when i scroll up there's an ad for target and there's an ad for instacart and it's like it's not blocking out ads and it's running ads it's not like i can't get access to this shit because it's running it through the ads so what i had to do as a parent is run an ad blocker to block all of these to be able to get keep my kid like fully safe if i wanted that so like i just searched chuck e cheese and it like i said it blocks out the corporate website but what happens is you scroll up you click here on the ad and you click out and bam you're on chuck e cheese's website via an ad now not via kittle but since kittle is running ads running ads towards kids i should say question mark which is kind of weird look I, ex I escaped to chuck e cheese i'm out of there and now we're on chuck e cheese because i escaped through an ad and i'm not entirely sure if that's fair to criticize them of but i feel like it is because they are running ads so if you're running ads on your search engine yes scroll down your search engine is doing a great job of blocking out shit that i suppose kids shouldn't be viewing but you're running ads and through those ads i can get out and go where i need to go so if we type in gta i'm not sure it's going to come up and i'm gonna say this again on the ads the ads are fucking sus like gta 5 online pc free export gta online pc free like that's a really sus website gta facts for kids motor vehicle theft is hyper crime rockstar game teases new content well th there you fucking go hold on let's actually go back now link out rockstar games teases new content and mystery gta online video click off we're actually not gonna go to the website but i mean you still gotta hit for grand theft auto on here it did a good job for the most part for the most part but it failed to some degree because i still got what i wanted how to make money in grand theft auto 5 i don't know why kids would need to know that so if we search it's not an offensive game but if we look up Fortnite. I'm curious as to what will come up. Fortnite facts, time facts, nothing really is coming up. Yeah, nothing horrific is coming up. I mean, you got Fortnite, BBC, BBC, firearms. Are we going to get anything? Oops, try again. So it blocks out that. Guns blocks out that too. It, I will say, it does a good job of blocking it. Obviously, they put inquiries for that. So they just say, you know, fuck that shit. We'll shut the whole damn thing down. You can't even search that word, which is good. But I should say there should be some more words that they should probably add out then in that case so we're gonna search up just for the sake of brevity and see what it pulls up when we search up terrorist terrorism facts for kids okay u.s history september 11th attacks september 11th tax facts for kids the things that they decide to put in for like articles for kids i will say is questionable in my personal opinion i don't think these are things we should be talking about to kids because it is very sensitive as shit here you got a fucking picture of Osama Bin Laden with like, you know, his AKS. Like, why do we need that? I don't think this should be shown to kids. And that's just, maybe it's just personal opinion. Like, you know, people running away from the buildings collapsing on September 11th, the Twin Towers. I don't think people should, we should be showing that to kids. But maybe that's just a personal opinion. Like, I don't know. These are things that I'm like, as a parent, I'd be like, no, absolutely not. Do not show my kid that. And like I said, maybe that's just a personal opinion, but I... 
I, I don't know. You can tell me, like, what you think personally, but, like, things like this, like, I don't think we should be showing this to kids. Well, I'm, like, writing, like, articles that kids might read about it. Here it is, like, you know, terrorism facts for kids. I don't believe we should be telling kids about that. Leave the terrorism shit to, like, at least middle school. This is a site that, I mean, I imagine elementary schoolers will have access to and younger. And I mean, that's just... Some, but that's just me. I don't really have much else to search up, so we'll do our conclusion on the Kittle. Overall, I have more content planned that'll be like this. It'll be a more extreme... Well, Kittle was actually... I'll admit, to some degree, Kittle was actually pretty pretty decent at keeping the bad shit out unfortunately it does link to websites which once you get a hold of it, you can outlink 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 and then get access to websites that you shouldn't i'm not sure what black facts was but it outlinked to other websites that did not use very appropriate language you know it linked it said nigga in a tweet and then it had a video and then we could it wouldn't allow us to play the video but then we could click on another video and then we were on youtube so you can use certain websites that it links to to get out of the environment to where kids really want to get to like youtube and shit like that some of the search results are questionable like i said terrorism let's not talk to kids about that you know the vietnam war 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 martin luther king's assassination i don't think these are things kids should know about in my personal opinion and of course this is kind of it's like kind of like you you versus me right it's like well it's my opinion versus yours what i believe should be censored you may believe shouldn't be censored for kids like it's just a difference of opinions in that case but in terms of what it filters for kids, in some instances, I would say it does a really, really good job. Like, I can't get access to corporate websites except through ads, which was another problematic thing. I could get access to certain websites through advertisements, which really begs the question why you have advertisements on a platform meant for kids. That's very suspicious as well, in my opinion. You could get access to certain websites which were not linked through Kittle. There were websites that Kittle would block, like Target or whatever, but you could get to Target through an advertisement which is very questionable but the advertisements that can get you out of the environment certain websites could get you out of it very quickly what they choose to censor and censor on not censor seems to be kind of finagly it does a good job with certain words obviously i couldn't search nigga fuck firearms they blocked all those words and that's good when it comes to word blocking it does a good job site blocking it seems to do mostly pretty much a good job but as you saw in the video there were some suspicious parts so thank you very much for watching until next time, I'll see ya. Stay chill.